we will create this with some notes in Cedar Editor our channel thanks sci-fi first go to the geometry node by selecting cube then click new and remove group input add icosphere by pressing shift a give subdivision of 5 then add set smooth in between then set material then go to the material setting and apply some material and give it some name and select the same material in set material then go to setting and you will see the same material in setting go to the cycles select gpu and viewport maximum sampling 6 remove principal bsdf add emission by pressing shift a and connect it with material output volume then add volume absorption add add shader node and connect it bet between emission and material output connect volume absorption to add shader add mix shader and connect it with material output surface make a duplicate of add shader by pressing shift d and connect it between add shader and volume absorption add glossy bsdf and connect it with mix shader add reflection bsdf and connect it with mix shader add fresnel and connect it with mix shader vector add color wrap and connect it with emission color increase emission strength to 5 then go to the render view to see the effect Add moose gray texture and voronite texture. Make some space because we have to add volume scatter node and connect it with add shader. Give a density of 0.5 in volume scatter and 0.15 in volume absorption. Give a roughness of 0.1 in reflection bstf and 1.6 in ior roughness of 0.1 in glossy bsdf now connect moose gray texture to color wrap and voronoi distance to moose gray select 4d in both texture w value of 0.1 in moose gray scale of 6 detail of 3 density of 0 and lacunity of 1 in voronoi select smooth f1 then go to the world setting and make the world completely black select a color in the color wrap and play with its handle Select blue color in both the volume node. Add one more color wrap. Select select two different color on it. Then connect it with glossy and reflection BSDF. Go to the material setting and select setting then in displacement select displacement and bump then in shader node add displacement node and connect it with material output displacement add three more node 
Voronoi Texture, Voronoi Noise and Color Wrap. Select Smooth F1 in this Voronoi Texture also. Connect it with Noise Texture and Noise Texture with Color Wrap. And Color Wrap with Displacement Height. Make Displacement Mid Value and Scale 0.3. Play with the color wrap and both the node for best result. Move your cursor in the 3D viewport and press 0 for camera view. Then press G and middle mouse button and drag your mouse. This will move your camera forward and set your camera to the scene. Then select the sphere and add a timeline. Give a end frame of 150. Add frame 1. Enter the keyframe in first Voronoi texture. And go to frame 151. Then give a negative value of 0.8 or 9 in Voronoi texture. Then again enter keyframe. This will give a beautiful movement in the volume inside the sphere, which I can not show you in cycle. Then come back to layout and add a Bezier circle by pressing shift A. Scale it and adjust it so that Bezier circle will touch the end point of the camera. Press 7 for top view and 1 for front view. Press GZ to set it in Z axis. Now select the camera and make it location and rotation 0. Then go to constraint setting and add follow path and track 2. Select Bezier in follow path target and cube in track 2 target. This will lock the view of camera to the cube. At frame 1, enter keyframe in follow path offset at frame 151 enter 100 in offset and enter keyframe this will add a rotation animation around the cube now it's time to render go to the render setting and in Render, render maximum sample if possible select the higher value otherwise select 32 and give a sharpness to the animation in some video editing software then render the scene don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much